Hello, this is Gypsy Spirit here with you, and I am here to talk to you about my tarot reading classes. So this is a new journey that I just started about a month ago where I was actually and have still doing live classes uh, here in my community at a little adorable coffee shop off of Highway 61 in Charleston, South Carolina. And I've noticed that a lot of my students, some classes, I do it every Saturday. So not everybody can make it every Saturday. And so um, I decided to start uh, doing the classes on video. And for those people who miss the classes, or even those people who come to the classes, but they want to get a refresher on the class, maybe go over it again. So, and it's also for people who can't come to the classes because they live too far away. And so I decided to do this Patreon thing. It's only $12 a month, which is a great deal because I charge $12 for class if you come to my class. <laughs> so you can get all the classes for $12. Uh, a month here at Patreon. So let me tell you what we discuss because it's very exciting. Uh, I always encourage you to ask questions. So if you are a Patreon uh, student, uh, please feel free to send me an email, ask me questions, whatever. Uh, but that we go over all the suits, all the major arcanas, minor, uh, the minor suits, we go over all the royalty, what everything means. We discuss the numbers to each card. Um, I teach you like how to read the card and how to use your intuition, which is the most important thing in tarot reading is using your intuition. Uh, so we go over all the cards, what every card means. I show you how to do different spreads and how to read those. I show you how to create your own spreads. And so we have a good time. Um, I would encourage you again, if you live in Charleston, South Carolina or anywhere close to definitely come to a class. So, uh, I just wanted to give you a little synopsis of what we do. The only thing that you're going to need is a uh, paper and pen so you can take notes. And of course, a deck of tarot cards. So, um, you know, a lot of people ask me, where do they get tarot cards? You can go to a metaphysical store. Uh, we have a Barnes and Nobles here where I live. So I recommend a lot of people to go there because they have a great selection. And a custom, uh, one of my clients who has tarot readings with me and who's wanting to learn to read tarot as well, she just told me the other day that um, this team, I guess it's a new app you can get on your phone. It's called Temu, T-E-M-U. Uh, and she was showing me that all the tarot cards they offer. And some of the tarot cards that I actually own, I found on that site. And I didn't find any cards there for uh, over $5. And I can assure you, I paid way over $5 for the cards that they have listed on that site. Uh, but she was telling me that she's been using this Timu and she really likes it. She gets her stuff within a week, a couple of days. Uh, so you might want to try that, you know, if you're if you know people and you feel safe to use it. Uh, but again, you can go to most any bookstore uh, or a metaphysical store. The thing with a metaphysical store is it depends on how big it is. Um, because some metaphysical stores, they don't carry a huge selection. So, and also in, in uh, finding your tarot cards, this is very important. I heard uh, this girl tell me one time. This girl's kind of crazy, so I really didn't pay much attention to her. But she told me one time that the only way to read tarot is to have the cards gifted to you. That's the craziest thing that I've ever heard. 
Um, and maybe for some people that's true, but I got to tell you, when I, every deck, Oracle deck and everything. Oh, and that's another thing we're going to be discussing is we're going to learn how to read Oracle decks. And I will teach you how to use the Oracle decks in with your tarot reading with the tarot cards. So, uh, but anyway, um, and finding your own deck of tarot cards, uh, it's really important for you to the person that's going to be reading the cards for them to pick out the cards. And the reason why I say this is because um, I've gone and have bought many, many decks. And there have been decks that I picked up just because I wanted to. And then I didn't resonate with them. My very first deck of cards, I actually found them in a metaphysical store. And I, they came in a big box. And usually <clears throat> on those big boxes that the cards come in, on the back of the box, it will have some pictures of the cards. And on this particular box, it might have had four pictures. And as soon as I saw the pictures, I instantly connect. I could read them. I instantly connected with this deck. So I bought it. So you want to find a deck that when you hold it or you look at it, it speaks to you. A long time ago, a friend of mine told me that the tarot cards are alive. I thought she was crazy. Uh, but actually, she was telling the truth. <laughs> <laughs> the tarot cards are alive and that tarot deck that I told you that I connected with I bought that deck and I used it for many years and then one day I found this other deck that I just had to have it, it was an angel tarot deck and I bought them and on every card at the bottom of the card it had a description of what that card meant and so I bought those cards and I replaced the old deck with the new angel tarot deck and <clears throat> my clients would come and they would um i would do a reading with them with the angel cards the new cards and in spite of the fact that the meaning of the card was written on the bottom of each card i still couldn't read those cards i couldn't make sense of them i just couldn't read them and i i couldn't understand i mean, this went on for a couple of weeks and i was like what what's going on and one day I was in my kitchen and I'm, I'm like so concerned about why I can't read these cards. And I felt my spirit tell me it was because the original deck that I had tossed to the side, they were jealous. They were angry with me that I had got replaced them with this new deck. And I, I remember um, in the kitchen and I was making something and, and I'm hearing this from spirit and I'm thinking, that's just, that's, that's the craziest thing I've ever heard. <laughs> that's just nuts. And so it went on for another week or so where I was trying to use the angel cards and I couldn't use them, couldn't use them. And I finally gave them away. And because I kept hearing that the other card was jealous, the other deck was jealous. They felt jilted. So I, I finally, I gave that angel deck away to somebody and I pulled out the deck that I had resonated with that wanted to help me. Um, and I pulled them out and I used that. I continued to use them. I mean, we had a great relationship. We had a great run and I used them for years and years. And just last year, a, a client of mine who is also a medium, I did a reading for her and she called me and she said, um, that her guides had told her that I needed to get rid of my tarot deck that I had been using and that I needed to get some new tarot cards. And I, I was like, I can't do that. <laughs> After I explained to her the, the situation that it happened many years ago. And um, she said, no, uh, th those, that deck is not working for you. You're not getting accurate readings anymore. And I, I just didn't, I couldn't accept that. And after a couple of days, I, I finally, you know, said, okay, I will go get a new deck of tarot cards. And as I was driving to a store to get the new cards, I heard my uh, spirit guides tell me that the deck that I had been using all these years to help people, 
they had helped a lot of people and they had heard a lot of stories and they had given a lot of advice and they were tired. They needed to rest. <laughs> and so I felt better. It, it, it helped me to understand. And so I went in and I got a new deck of tarot cards and I actually started using many different decks because I don't have one special deck like I had in that first deck. So um, I will tell you what I did. I came home after I got my new deck. I sat with the old deck and I thanked it. I rubbed it and I told that deck that I was going to let them rest for a while. And I wrapped them up in a beautiful cloth with some crystals. And I'm pretty sure I saged them too and just put them away so they could rest. So they're resting right now. They will be back out when uh, my guides tell me it's time for them to come back. But uh, yes, yeah, so the tarot cards, they are alive. Um, they do speak. They have energy. And so you must respect them. You must uh, take really good care of them. I don't let people touch my tarot cards. I don't let people read, uh, do a reading with my cards, um, unless I feel like the cards are okay with it. So, um, that, that'll just kind of give you an idea of how powerful the tarot cards are. So always respect them. So a little bit about me. I've been reading, uh, tarot cards since 2011. Yeah. Since 2011, I've had other practitioners tell me, I've been reading cards for about 500 years, but I just like to stay in this lifetime. <laughs> I can't deal with the other lifetimes. So I've been reading since, since about 2011. Uh, my grandmother read tarot cards and she read from a plain deck of cards. I can read from a plain deck, but I really like to see the pictures because they have stories and I like to look at the stories. So we'll talk more about tarot and the cards and how to choose them and how to read them and definitely will show you how to look at all the cards and look at the numbers and and what to look for in reading them and how to approach them. I hope you will join my Patreon page. Um, again, it's only $12 a month and you're going to learn a lot about tarot and how to read it. Thank you so much. Bye-bye.